Hello and welcome to this Illustrator quick tip about 3D effects. In particular about this effect where objects seem to be embedded in this kind of cushion-like design. So how can this be achieved? And this is about hierarchies in Illustrator. So let's take a look at the base objects, which are these. And they are just symbols I've taken from the Blenny Black font, like so. These are outlined and this is live text. Now let's just make a copy of this. Take this and make a copy of it, like so. So now we can just select these and then of course go to Window 3D and Materials and then click on inflate because this is how this effect has been done like so and you see clearly this doesn't work the objects in this case don't interact with each other so this can't work because in Illustrator, Illustrator is not a 3D application so objects don't automatically interact with each other but instead, each object lives in its own 3D world. Let's take a different approach and select all these and group them first. So you go to Object, Group, and I have used the shortcut. And now we inflate this. It takes a few minutes to render and then it's done. And you see in this case, they interact with each other. So let's take a look at this in the Layers panel. I'm just opening it and then let's see and select all these objects. And you see there they are. I'm going to enlarge them. And each of these objects you see with this circle, which is the target symbol, that each of them has an effect applied because they are gray. So let's zoom out again and go to this one. And again, take a look at it. And you see in this case, we have the group, which is this top element in the hierarchy. This has the 3D effect applied and the other ones don't have any effect. The target symbol looks just like a circle. And nothing else. And that's why this works, because in that case they all can interact with each other. And let's take a look at another thing. So when we take these and then group this, then take a look at the group again in the layers panel, then you see still it hasn't changed. So in this case the group has no effect contrary to this group, but all the single objects still have their effect. So that doesn't change it. You have to group that before you apply the effect. And then, of course, afterwards, you also have to change everything else. So you have to go into the materials and in the materials, you see there's a little roughness. You have to reduce that and then also check out the lighting and set the lights like you want them to be. So let's go to the lighting and change this to maybe from the left side and you see how this inflate effect then looks different. Just check it out the way you want it. And then of course to get it the that shiny look then you have to turn on the ray tracing and then you get your result as you have seen it. So you see, hierarchy is important in Illustrator and just how some little things can change everything.